David Siegel is a very wealthy gentleman. He is apparently a billionaire. Good for him. He's uh, the owner of Westgate Results. That's not only a, a Florida timeshare company, but they claim it's actually the largest timeshare company in the world. But he explained before, right before the 2012 elections to his employees, man, we might not be as you know profitable and as successful. We might not even be in business if this Obama guy is reelected. I mean, he was very adamant about this. He sent out an email saying, of course, as your employer, I can't tell you whom to vote for. But he offered a few facts that might help you decide what is, quote, in your best interest. These included that re-electing Obama would threaten your job. That's a quote. It would threaten your job and result in, quote, less benefits and certainly less opportunity for everyone. So now that appears to be it, literally a threat to your job if you vote in a way that this billionaire is unhappy with. Now it turns out that people did vote that way anyway. We don't know how his employees voted, but certainly Barack Obama was reelected. Well, then I'm sure he was right that the tiny, tiny increase in taxes for the very top bracket must have devastated his business and all those people lost their jobs, right? And including this poor guy who's now probably in the poor house. We'll show you his house in a second. Wow, that's weird. Look at this. According to the Orlando Business Journal, David Siegel told him, quote, things have never been better. This is the year 2014. So just, you know, a little while back, about a week ago or so, he says, even though he said it was going to be the worst of times, he now says it's the best of times. What happened? I thought Obama was going to crush all business. I thought all your employees were going to suffer. But it turns out, and there's a little silver lining here for David Siegel. He says, we're experiencing the best year in our history. And I want to do something to show my gratitude for the employees who make that possible. Okay, now the good news is he's giving some of his employees a raise. Some, a lot of them were making minimum wage. Thousands of them were making minimum wage, and now he's raising them up to $10. Is he not merciful? Okay, now that's a good move. It is, right? Uh, now you can say he's a billionaire. He says the best of times. You can do a little bit better than us, But that's not our, for us to judge. He runs his business however he runs it. But the point is, it's certainly not the worst of times. And has he ever admitted, hey, oh, yeah, my bad, man. Remember when I said Obama was going to be the apocalypse? No, it turns out he was awesome for billionaires and for businesses. And in this case, he was actually good for his employees as well. The exact opposite of what David Siegel had said before. Now, I mentioned his house. I just wanted to give you a context for who this guy is. He's not just a billionaire who hates Obama. Uh, he was building the biggest house in the country. And they even made a little show around it, which was wonderfully obnoxious. So let me remind you of that, and then I'll finish the story. My name is David Siegel. My name is Jacqueline Siegel. I am the founder, CEO of the largest timeshare company in the world. I'm a 43-year-old mother of eight. I thought she was the most beautiful girl in the world. It took me a while to fall in love with him. We have a great relationship. There's 30 years between us, but he doesn't need Viagra. At least there is that option if he does, like, I don't know if 10 years from now. <laughs> we never sought out to build the biggest house in America. It just kind of happened. It's bigger than the White House. Two tennis courts. 30 bathrooms. Full-size baseball field. 10 kitchens. Antique furniture. 90,000 square feet. We're in line to do a billion dollars in sales for the year. We're on top of the world. And it came to a screeching halt. The market fell over 700 points. I would say it's touch and go right now. We don't talk about financial problems. I guess I'll have to watch the movie to find out <laughs> what's going on in my life. When you're down is when you find out who your true friends are. You get strength from your marriage? No. I'm in this fantasy world, you know, until reality hits. They seem like such lovely people. My heart goes out to them. But you see that crash that happened under Obama? Maybe he was right after all. Oh, no, wait. That crash happened under President Bush. In fact, what happened after President Bush left office and Barack Obama came into office is David Siegel's fortune soared again. By the way, this is not necessarily to the credit of President Obama. Yes, the unemployment is now at 5.8%. It's much better than uh, expected. And yes, there are good economic numbers. Oil prices are down. But the people that President Obama has really helped are billionaires like David Siegel. Despite the fact that they complained and complained and complained, they're right back up on top. Now, at the time in 2012 when President Obama is going for re-election, Siegel has said, rather than grow this company, 
I will be forced to cut back. Now, let me tell you what has happened completely since then. Siegel has been, according to uh, Think Progress here, extraordinarily successful, growing Westgate in the two years since taxes were modestly increased on the wealthy. In 2014 alone, Siegel and Westgate bought a hotel in Las Vegas for $180 million, began constructing a new $11 million retail center in Orlando, and purchased the Cocoa Beach Pier, a whole pier. Siegel also acquired the Orlando Predators Arena football team and continued constructing his 90,000 square foot mansion, which will be the biggest in America once completed. So, what now? Well, turns out Barack Obama was great for business, specifically for David Siegel's business. So the next time you hear these guys crying uncle, oh no, oh, Obama, he's a Democrat, they're going to kill us. It's nonsense. It's not true. They're doing better than ever. Now, we wish that President Obama had actually done a little bit better for David Siegel's employees. He shouldn't have waited all this time for it to trickle down to increase their minimum wage by a little bit. We wish that that was directed more to the average guy than it was the Siegels of the world. But that's exactly where it's gone. And so the next time they're crying, know that they are completely and utterly full of crap.